Hello guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Tor browser and how to install that in Kali Linux. So, what is the Tor browser? Right? So you might be asking that. Like, what is the Tor? Let me actually zoom this in a little bit. So, obviously, the Tor stands for the Onion Router. And it's a browser that's designed for anonymous web surfing and protecting against traffic analysis, right? So pretty much what you want to do is browse online anonymously. And Kali Linux, we don't have anything that's built in by default. So what we can do is install the Tor project to anonymize yourself. So browse privately, explore freely, etc. So you can download this. We're going to do it through the terminal, but you can go ahead and read, you know, about the Tor browser. This is going to be a very simple install. So let's go ahead and open up our terminal. Okay, let's go ahead and make this bigger. And I'm just going to do C, go into. So the first things first, we can do sudo apt. This is what we're going to be doing, apt install. And then what we're going to do is Tor. I think it's a Tor browser launcher. Uh, let's go ahead and launcher and dash Y. And I'm just going to say yes to all the installs. Uh, unable to fetch some archives, maybe run up again. All right, let's do that really quick. Let's see, because I haven't updated this for a second. So this is good troubleshooting. So we'll just do this update really quick. Obviously, this depends on your internet speed. My internet speed is pretty decent, but I have a few things going on on my, on my network. So we'll give this a second to do. Okay, so let's do ahead and clear. And let's go ahead and try to run this again. See if it works. And now it looks like it's going to work. So we'll give this a minute to install. Uh, restart services during. That's perfectly fine for me. Yep. We can restart those services just so everything is good to go once it's done. Okay. All right. Cool. So that is done there. So now what we have to do is launch it. So we can do Tor Browser Launcher. And now this is going to go ahead and launch the Tor browser. So let it download. It's going to you know, download into a browser for the first time. So since it's the first time for this, it's going to go ahead and download. And while that's doing that, you can also go to your, to your uh, little menu bar and put in Tor. And you can see Tor right here and then Tor, Tor browser launch, uh, launcher settings. But let's wait for this thing to launch. Once this is done, we'll go ahead and open it. And it's a pretty, pretty easy, quick install process. So let's give this a moment. It shouldn't take more than five minutes for this install for everything. So hopefully just bear with me. We'll get this baby up and running. And like always, if you enjoy these videos, please like, subscribe, share. And just put any comments for recommendations, right? Like I was recommended installing the Tor browser into Kali. That's why I just said, okay, let me just jump on my machine, make a quick video about how to install the Tor browser in Kali Linux. And it's a pretty easy process and I haven't had it on this machine. So why not spin up my machine and start the install. Okay. So key imported successfully, extract into a browser. So let's give this a few more moments. Okay. Go ahead. That's fine. All right. So now let's go ahead and just do this one more time. Let's do sudo. Uh, the Tor browser bundle should not be run. Okay. All right. So that's fine. Let's go to 
show a browser. Okay, let's see if it's it's good without root privileges. I guess it doesn't like running as root. That's interesting, but let's see if we run it as regular Kali or a regular user without any uh, root privileges. It's very interesting. Very unique. So this so will take a few more moments. And as that takes a few moments. So, and let's just go ahead. I believe I made a video on this already. But we can go ahead and tour browser links. Okay. So we can just do like the dark web and the scary dark web people talk about. So let's just go ahead and here's some, you know, some sites, some search engines. So we'll make sure the, the, the Ungan router is working once it's up. As you can see here, this URL, if you click on it in here, it's not going to work, right? Just because it needs the Ungan router to, to open. So once this opens, we'll, once it installs, we'll try to use that link to uh, open it, okay? So it's almost done, now it's verifying. Let's see if it actually opens. And then we'll test the link to make sure everything is good to go before we conclude the video. All right, cool deal. So it looks like the, the Ungan router is installed. So let's go ahead and connect. All right, so it's loading. It's going to go ahead and go through its process. All right, so it looks like we are connected. You know, so let's just go to, for example, google.com. You can still browse out to Google and everything like that, but it's a little slower because obviously it goes through an Ungan router. I don't know what this says, but I don't speak that language. So if you see here, we can see the, this browser is going to Germany, France, Norway, Google. So it's going to all of those circuits, okay? So for example, new circuit for this site. I don't know what this says. I'm guessing like, except, I have no idea. Okay, so we're trying to go there. So let's go ahead and try to go to this site now. Let's copy this and open up the tour browser and paste that and now we should be able to get to it because we're using the Ungan router. You see here, now we're able to get to it. I'm not sure really what this is. I'm just showing you that we need the extension .onion in order to get to the URLs. All right, so that concludes this video with how to install the Tor browser in Kali Linux. I hope this has been informative for you guys. Thank you for viewing, and until next time, have an awesome time, or day, or night, whenever you watch this. Take care, guys.